Good morning, brothers and sisters. The fulfillment of 25 and confirmation. Psalms 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. Amen. Uh, we need to build a watchtower. And the key concept of the watchtower is the light. I mean, that is the very purpose of building a watchtower. We, we need a watchtower to project the light as far as possible. Right? And God has given us that light. That light is, as in Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, it is the light of creation. And that light, God uh, gave that light, get God inserted that light into our soul. Isaiah chapter 60 says, the, that light of the Lord has come upon us. John chapter, chapter 1 verse 11 says that Christ came to us as that light. Matthew chapter 5, it says, we are the light of the world. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, God has called us to shine that light. So brothers and sisters, why do we need to shine the light at all? I mean, to, be, to begin with, because there is darkness. The world is in dark, darkness. This is the first thing you need to confirm. You need to confirm the existence of darkness. Only then you will come to realize the purpose of the light and the value of the light, the significance of the light. And you will find, you will find your mission, what to do. What should you do? Shine the light. And when you shine the light, the first thing you will discover is all the answers that have come to you already. For example, people. Okay, we are surrounded by people. And uh, many of them we are not that happy with. And many of them are doing wrong to us. So what shall we do? Shine the light. In other words, help them. Especially help them with their shortcomings. Right? I'm pointing out their problems. I mean, anyone can do that. But helping, helping them with their weakness is our job, is our mission. Doing so we will triumph. And also, you will experience a lot of conflicts. When you, when, you, when you experience that, devote yourself to that situation. And along the way, you, will, you might face sometimes crisis. When people face crisis, they tend to avoid it or run away, right? Run away from, the, from crisis. But you should become the main figure, like David, like Joseph. Uh, whether you are receiving answers or not, that, that's, how, that, that's not the issue. What's important is to go through this procession, uh, this process. Build up the light and shine, I mean, build up the watchtower and shine the light to the field, to the world, and to those who are in darkness. So, brothers and sisters, you have the light. And you need to confirm three identities that you have. Firstly, you are the remnant. You are the ones who, you are the one who 
remained. You are the you are the ones you are the one who re, you remained, and you remain, and you will remain, and you will leave behind others to remain. Other, you will leave behind others who remained. So don't be deceived. Um, you might have some people who are tra- troubling you, who are doing wrongs to you. They are, doing, they are doing so because they are suffering. They are in pain themselves. They are weak people. Not, they, are not, they are not the strong. They are the weak. So as the one who remained, don't be deceived. And you should understand that all the important answers are hidden. Hidden in the opposite side. Your second identity is that of a pilgrim. So as a pilgrim, you are on a journey, right? This journey is a long, it's a long distance travel. Along the way, you will see a lot of problems. A lot of, uh, you know, along the way, you, you might See some um, some obstacles, uh, things that might annoy you. You know, a lot, of, a lot of things. You can't. I mean, if you deal with each and every problem you encounter along the way. You will never be able to finish your journey. So what you need to do as a pilgrim is just embrace everything and, and, and transcend everything. Right? Thirdly, you are ultimately you will become the conqueror. And what's important is we will conquer through not through fighting, but through saving. Right? We will save them. By doing so, we will triumph. Um, our purpose is not to win the battle in this kingdom, uh, this worldly kingdom. Because we know that this worldly kingdom is not all there is. Satan's kingdom is behind the worldly kingdom. And we have background of God's kingdom. So with that background, we'll triumph. Let's come to the conclusion. Christ. Okay? Christ promised to be with us with all the, all the power and authority of heaven and earth. So Brother James says, through Christ, let us enjoy the blessings of the throne of the triune God. They will be able to transcend time and space. And we will, be, we will be able to reach out to the 2037 nations. You will experience um, answers and blessings that are unprecedented and, will be, uh, that, and that are to be never, never to be repeated. And you will be able to save past, present, future. Let us pray. Father, may we truly enjoy our identities that you have given us. Identity of the remnant and the pilgrim and the conqueror. As a remnant, may we never be deceived by Satan, neither Satan nor um, they will be deceived by Satan or the world or circumstances or people. And as a pilgrim, may we be able to transcend everything. And as a conqueror, may we save everybody. We pray in the name of Jesus, who is the Christ. Amen.